Alia here. Okay, so I just want to bring up a certain point tonight. Um, I wanted to tell you something I realized today and I wanted to share with you. Um, and it deals with uh, denigrating yourself or uh, making like saying stuff to yourself that's like negative because that's not going to help you in life. Uh, and it's not going to help you if you're trying to lose weight. And um, in the times that I've been overweight, I've been upset before starting how I'm eating now. I've been very upset at times about being overweight. Um, yeah, it kind of sucks. And you often maybe if you're overweight might tell yourself that you're fat or you're ugly or or something like this is just negative and it's not going to help you. Um, and a few months ago, maybe, I don't remember exactly when, but my husband and I were having a conversation and um, I must have said that I was fat because his response was, you're not fat, you have fat. And I thought that was a very interesting distinction because, uh, yeah, it's true. You're a human being that has extra weight on your body. Uh, you have extra fat, adipose tissue on your body. And uh, we all hate it because we don't like the way it looks. But um, so then we keep telling ourselves these things. I'm fat. I'm this. I'm that. I'm the other thing. But that's not going to that doesn't solve the problem. And it just makes you feel worse. Possibly it's possible that other people were telling you negative things enough times that you start believing it yourself. It's a possibility or you're just telling it to yourself. But either way, you don't need to you don't need to keep the negativity. Um, you need to find something that's going to work for you. What's worked for me is eating a high fat animal based diet. And that's helped me a lot. Um, I've been doing this for a month and a half, more or less. Oh, maybe almost two months now. Um, as of a week and a half ago, I had lost 18 pounds and that was huge for me. Um, I don't have a scale. I'm out of town right now. Um, but the point is that you got to stop saying the negative things to yourself. That doesn't help. Write it on a list and then burn it and then forget about it and like continue on and find something that works for you. This works for me. Keto works for other people. You have to eat healthily. Uh, you have to stop listening to the lies of big food because we've been lied to forever. Uh, no, not forever. Probably the last 30, 40 years. Uh, nutrition, the field of nutrition is just a big joke and a total lie. So now we need to get unconfused get back to basics and find something that works for you. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, don't allow any negativity to get in your way, even uh, to yourself or other people that might be bringing you negative communications. Uh, get those, what do we call it? Toxic people out of your life. It's negative people, you don't need that. Uh, and so I was thinking of this today because I just thought of it and I wanted to share it with you. And um, my husband has always been supportive. He's never cared my weight. I could be... Uh, 150 pounds or 220 pounds and he never cared about that uh he just only wanted me to not be feel unhealthy he was more concerned about my health than how i looked and um i think that is actually i mentioned this in another video your your mental and physical well-being is way more important than how many extra pounds you have and when you do the right thing the pounds go away because your body knows how to deal with it um yesterday i had um, scrambled eggs and meat. And that's what I, and with butter. Um, and I think that was it. That's what I had all day yesterday and I was totally fine. And then today I had pork belly at lunch. So it's, uh, it's 10 o'clock. I'm about to go to sleep. Uh, and I'm totally fine. I'm feeling a little hungry, but I'm about to go to sleep. So, I'll, and I don't want to eat at 10 o'clock at night. Um, but that's the point when you do the right things with your body, your body starts knowing how to deal with it and how to handle it. And, um, and so maybe search for the right thing for you. And back to my point, don't need negativity in your life from yourself or other people. And so you don't need to tell these things to yourself because those are really just lies. Um, don't minimize your true strengths and your true powers. I know that can be expansive over many, many subjects. I'm specifically talking about losing weight, but you never want to denigrate yourself. All right. That's all. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, I appreciate you all. Like, share, subscribe. Talk to y'all later.